That's right. And part of Governor Polis's update, he wanted to talk about the state efforts to stop the spread, prepare our hospitals, and protect our economy as much as possible. And Contact 7 Chief Investigator Tony Kovaleski is in Centennial outside the State Emergency Operations Center. Tony, the governor gave us a look at the data and the big picture guiding his actions like the stay-at-home order. Yeah, good evening, and essentially the governor walked everybody in the state through what has led him to make the decisions he's made in the past three weeks, decisions that culminated just a day ago with the stay-at-home order. And he, he pointed to data and made a real strong point that the reason we're doing the social distancing will pay off in the weeks and months ahead, pay off in cutting down the number of people that have the coronavirus, the number of people that end up in hospital beds, and ultimately cut down on the number of deaths. As Wayne Gretzky said, you don't skate to where the puck is, you skate to where the puck will be. Colorado's governor used that quote to explain decisions he's made in the past three weeks. He walked the state through the data resources he's used to make decisions to order all residents to stay at home and increase social distancing. Detailed projections that show if the programs work, our state could limit deaths to between 400 and 1,600. This path of action will lead to the quickest possible return to work, to productivity, and to social and economic normalcy. So although he explained everything that led to his decisions, he also shared some interesting information, some quite frankly scary information, saying that the state will need probably another 1,000 ICU beds by the 1st of May and 5,000 by sometime this summer. They're working on a plan to put that in place. Clearly, we still have more information and greater numbers ahead, and that's why the governor is continuing to use that data to make these decisions. Reporting live at the state's Emergency Operations Center in Centennial, I'm Tony Kovaleski.